The wheel, however, is not the only thing that makes us have a smart dryer design. At Conair here, all of our dryers use a two-loop blower design. So we have one air loop that actually dries the plastic. We take air from the blower, we pass it across the desiccant, remove the moisture, and use that to dry the, the plastic pellets. Rinse and repeat, it's all done in a closed loop. We also have an open loop. That's the regeneration circuit where we pull air from the room, wring that moisture back out of the desiccant, and send it back out of the system. Now there are other dryers that use single blower designs or single air loops. While this is less expensive to manufacture a dryer this way, it's not very ideal. The reason is because now you've opened up the system and you've linked it to the atmospheric conditions, the weather, the climate. So in Conair's case, if we dry in Louisiana or Arizona, or we dry at night or day, or summer or winter, the dryer is going to perform exactly the same. In an open loop type dryer, or something with a single blower, you've now coupled that dryer to the room. Because as you purge moisture out of the system, you have to bring new air into the system. It's kind of like turning your air conditioner on at home, and then opening up all the windows. It doesn't make a ton of sense, it it's not as effective, and it's definitely not an efficient way to air condition a home. It's not an efficient way to dry plastic.